A new episode of the DJ's Aviation Podcast is live discussing my experience on board Business Class with Air Canada. Do give it a listen on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. Coverage for today's video, as the title suggests, centers around the Boeing 747, which is rapidly approaching its conclusion within the aviation industry. Not in the sense of, say, the aircraft being removed from the aviation industry, but more so around the production of the beloved family of aircraft that has stretched over half a century now. In the recent week just gone, Atlas Air welcomed the first of four new 7478 freighter aircraft in a monumental delivery for the customer. Naturally, of course, the acquisition of the 7478 will benefit their freighter operations. However, what we know is the aircraft will be flying between China and the Americas, increasing capacity overall with an agreement in place. The Executive Vice President and Chief Commercial Officer, Michael T. Steen, said these four new 7478s allow us to offer our customers significant growth opportunities to capitalize on strong demand and deliver value on what we consider among the best and most versatile widebody freighters in the market. We are pleased that the first of our new 747s will be placed on a long-term basis with Sinal, as they continue strengthening their presence as a global e-commerce logistics leader, and we look forward to continuing to support their growth and expansion. Now, with the delivery of the first of four Boeing 747s, this is indeed the last batch of 747s currently in production that is scheduled to be delivered to Atlas Air this year at some point. Of course, 2022 being that all-important yet also a very sad year where we say goodbye to the 747. What is quite the achievement though, and despite it being a freighter that we are discussing right now, is this is a plane which has managed to last in production-wise before and after the Airbus A380. Of course, an aircraft that at the time the European aircraft manufacturer built with the sole purpose of halting the dominance of the Boeing 747. However, industry trends meant that the future rapidly changed, bringing aircraft like the A380, and I guess you could say nowadays even the 747, into a world where they weren't necessarily favoured nor necessarily needed as we faced a global pandemic and subsequently efficiency becoming at the forefront of what airlines needed within our industry quicker than ever. It has resulted in many airlines retiring their Boeing 747s for passenger needs quicker than maybe initially anticipated, with the likes of Qantas, British Airways and KLM, three major airlines all retiring their own aircraft earlier than initially expected. The first Boeing 747 was airborne on the 9th of February 1969, and we then saw it delivered. It has had quite the life, and across many different variants, as production rolls down, it's undoubtedly wrapping up the end of an era within our famous industry. One I can be very proud to say that I've witnessed, even during my short time here on Earth so far. Thank you very much for tuning into this video. I appreciate the support. I hope you're having a lovely Sunday, and I will indeed see you next week for more videos across the channel.